Well, the, the weather is changing. <laughs> yes, it is changing for us, and we're going to be looking at some clouds to move in for tomorrow, and then the storm chance picks up on Friday. Today, though, another phenomenal afternoon. Temperatures climbing up into the mid 60s this afternoon. Now we will warm up even more the next two days, but it comes with more clouds, stronger winds, increasing Gulf moisture. All of that will set us up for that severe storm chance come on Friday. This evening, a light breeze out of the south and southeast, five to almost 10 miles an hour. I expect the breeze to increase more through the rest of tonight, and eventually that's going to bring back in more in the way of cloud cover. Even though now we have that light breeze, we're beginning to cool down. We're into the mid and the upper 50s and right near 60 degrees this evening. I'll get you through the next 24 hours on what's to come. Mainly clear skies for the rest of this evening. No big concern there. But by tomorrow morning, when you head out the door, we'll have a breeze around, but also a lot more in the way of cloud cover. Going with a mainly cloudy sky by 8 o'clock. And as we head during the day tomorrow, we'll keep that cloud cover with us. Now, a couple of showers will begin to pick up as well. Doesn't look like a lot of rain. Temperatures upper 60s to around 70 degrees for that afternoon high. We'll show you that here with future cast as the clouds will begin to roll on in. We'll pause the clock at 8 o'clock. You'll notice here some light precipitation will be with us during the day. It doesn't look like anything major. I can't rule out a thunderstorm, especially if we were to see just a little bit more in the way of sun for tomorrow which I don't think we're going to have a lot of that to occur. So this rain chance for your Thursday looks to be low. We get into Friday morning, though, some patchy drizzle, maybe a light shower or two. Extremely, extremely muggy to begin our Friday, and it's only getting warmer for there. Friday afternoon, we could reach the mid 70s for daytime highs, even though we'll deal with a lot of gloomy and overcast skies. This is 11 o'clock. Let me jump ahead to what happens into the afternoon. We're going to start to see some storms begin to form back near the the Metroplex. One thing that we're going to keep an eye on are the possibility of individual. We call those supercell storms that might try to form ahead of the line. That's one of the reasons why the Storm Prediction Center has us in the enhanced risk for us on Friday. The potential of some individual storms that could try to form ahead of that line could be a problem. Futurecast here does not show that occurring, but we will have to keep a close eye on that. That's one of those situations when we get to Thursday and especially day side Friday. We'll kind of have a better handle on how that looks to play out. The main line that's going to be the most important part that'll come in Friday evening and Friday night starting at first for our northwestern counties between about five to seven o'clock, probably between six and nine for our central areas. This is 11 o'clock showing that that potent line of storms will be moving through. And even as we head into Saturday morning, a strong to severe thunderstorms will still be expected. It might take some time for deep east Texas to see the storms and it really might not be until early on Saturday when that does increase heavy rain. We're still on track for that easily one to two inches or even higher in terms of rainfall. But with the line of storms, damaging wind gusts will be that primary concern. If we see any individual cells that could increase the tornado and hail threat, but all modes of severe weather will be likely and you'll want to be weather aware seven day forecast. So we're warm the next couple of days and abruptly colder on Saturday after the storms come to an end, but a nice second half of the weekend and next week. If you're looking ahead, maybe a couple of more rain chances to return. Deep East Texas, a couple of showers tomorrow doesn't look to be a whole lot, and even most of Friday might be okay with the exception of those individual storms. But then Friday night and Saturday, here it comes. Saturday 50. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Marcus, thank you. Coming